Welcome to the Aviva Experience, a podcast dedicated to surviving the emotional and psychological shit fuckery of midlife. Hi there, my name is Sarah Tuckett, and I'm a somatic psychotherapist based in Brisbane. Let's get on with the show. In today's podcast, I'm going to teach you three very simple techniques to use self-touch to self-soothe. But before I do, I want to tell you a story. It's a very personal story, and it's about the power of touch. See, a few months ago, one of my best friends was in hospital. She was reaching the end of her life, and I went to visit her, knowing that this was probably going to be one of the last times I would see her alive. And as we walked to her room, her husband warned me that she was no longer able to speak and that she might probably have her eyes closed, but she could probably hear us. But as we entered the room, her eyes opened wide in surprise and delight at seeing me. And I went and sat beside her on the chair beside her bed and I held her hand and I was telling her how much I loved her and all the amazing memories I could remember. But gradually her eyes shut and I thought, oh, I'll probably just put her hand down. And I'd been sat in this really awkward manner. I was sort of half hovering off the chair to reach her. But as soon as I put her hand down, her eyes flew open and she reached her arms out towards me, asking for more touch. So, of course, I obliged and I pulled the chair closer to her. And I held her hand again and stroked her arm. And then as I said goodbye to her, I stroked her hair and I kissed her on the forehead, knowing that this was probably the last time I was going to see her. And as I left the hospital, I remember bursting into tears. I was berating myself for not having said anything more meaningful. But now on reflection, I can see that actually it was the touch she needed. That communicated far more than I could ever have said with words. She had used her last remaining units of energy to reach her arms out towards me, desperately wanting that touch. We all need touch. When I've had a really bad day, I need a hug. So what I'm going to teach you now are three techniques that I teach my clients. They're very simple and we're just going to use our hands to hold ourselves. The first one is called the butterfly hug. And you'll see why. So first of all, hold your hands out in front of your face with your palms facing towards your face and then cross your wrists and interlace your thumbs. So you're making like a birdie or butterfly. And then you're going to pop those hands on your chest, on the bony flat part of your chest. And just let your hands rest, no pressure. They're just resting and let your elbows rest down. Gravity will drag them downwards. And all you have to do is wait. Feel that gentle, broad pressure. It's a bit like a weighted blanket. And notice the warmth that's being generated between your hands and your chest. And notice if this is soothing for you, whether it feels comfortable. We're all unique, we all have different likes and dislikes. So now I'll teach you the second one, hand on heart and face. So leaving one of your hands over your heart, which is more towards the left side of your torso. So my suggestion is the right hand is on your heart. Take your left hand and gently cup your face, your cheek, your jaw. And let the weight of your head rest into that hand. As if someone really kind was soothing you, was holding you. And notice the softness of the skin on your face and the warmth of your hand. And then taking your attention to the hand over your heart. Again, noticing that gentle, soft pressure. And the warmth of your hand. 
And again, noticing if you like this or not, whether it's soothing for you. And the third technique is taken from havening. So I'm going to invite you to hold the opposite arm. So just taking your hands and holding your shoulders. And this might be enough for you. You might like just to hold yourself, this self-hug. Or you can just gently slide your hands down your top of your arm, down to your elbows. Lift off, take your hands back up to your shoulders and slide gently downwards again. Noticing the sensation of the touch of the fabric, the texture of the fabric, or perhaps the texture of your skin, the little hairs, the lumps and bumps, and the temperature as you glide your hands slowly downwards towards your elbow. And notice if this is soothing for you, this gentle self-hug, self-touch. So that's the three techniques. Butterfly hug, hand on heart and face, and havening. I hope one of those worked for you. Thank you for listening to today's podcast. I have a question for you. How do you want to feel today? Powerful, playful, or present? Download my free guide, Feel Your Vava Voom in 60 Seconds, and find out how. Bye.